हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू येट अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑन पाथ फाइंडर फिजिक्स सो इफ यू हैवन गिवन दिस क्वेश्चन ट्राई मे बी इट्स द राइट टाइम टू पॉज दिस वीडियो हियर एंड रीड दिस क्वेश्चन एंड ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज नॉट अ वेरी लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन इफ यू गेट दिस क्वेश्चन राइट कॉन्सेप्चुअली इट विल नॉट टेक मोर देन टू थ्री मिनट्स राइट सो नॉ लेट्स गो बैक टू द क्वेश्चन एंड इट्स सोल्यूशन in this question there are two uh, beams of light and uh, these are plane coherent waves of same wavelength lambda and these uh, two uh, beams a and b are traveling at an angle theta uh, with this uh, reference line uh, let us consider this line as a horizontal line and on this sphere on this cylinder rather on the cylindrical screen we have to determine what is going to be the distance between two maximas right so we have to determine uh, the distance between two maximas uh, what is asked here is the distance between adjacent interference fringes right so uh, we have to determine the fringe width uh, and that is nothing but the distance between two adjacent maximas or simply two adjacent mix uh, ma minimas right so we'll be finding that only uh and that uh, that uh, fringe width has to be determined near about this point right so it should be near this point uh of course the fringe width is going to be different at different places on the on this cylindrical surface so we have to find around this point right so now let's come to the solution part so first we need to you know revisit the concept of uh, uh wave front right so if a planar wave is going if a plane progressive wave is going in the rightward direction the wave front is going to be perpendicular to the direction of propagation so these uh, these lines are going to be wave front right so if i take any point on this first line here that is the first wave front we have and let's call this the second line is uh, the second wave front right so if i take any point and let's say the perpendicular distance the distance along the line of travel between them is let's say uh, one wavelength lambda right so if i take any point on the first uh, wave front and take any other point on the second wave front the path difference is not going to be this much right because the light is not traveling from these two points the path difference is going to be considered only lambda and we will have to use only this property for solving this question uh, now many of uh, you will be saying that we already know all of these so now let's come back to the solution here uh, we have to determine the fringe width near about this point right so of course we have to be just close to point p right and if i draw a tangent at a point p we can say that any points on this cylindrical surface very close to point p are going to be lying on a straight line that is tangential at point p right because uh, these points are very close we can assume all the points to lie on this tangential line right so now let's uh, make the diagram using uh, the wave fronts of these two and tangent at point p right so let's come here uh, let's say we have drawn the ta tangent this uh, red dotted line here and that is making of course angle phi with the vertical of course this line is making angle uh, this line is making angle phi with the horizontal so of course perpendicular to that the tangential line will be making angle phi with this vertical line right and this vertical line is nothing but the wave front of wave a right so this is wave front of wave a because th that was going in the horizontal direction similarly we can say this is the wave front of uh, this second wave and let's say uh, the intersection of these wave fronts at this point here uh, let's consider that uh, we have taken this point somewhere where Uh, basically maxima is happening right so we have taken this position as default position for the maxima uh, you can all agree with me that we can take any of lines vertical that is vertical right uh, as wave front because if there is one wave front here there is going to be another wave front here so we can accordingly choose these two black uh, wave fronts such that this point of intersection is at a uh, such a suitable position that maximize happening around this place right 
and let's say this point is very close to point P here, right? So you can consider this point here, the intersection point here as very close to point P. So we now know one position of the maxima. What is remaining here? We just have to find the adjacent maxima, the position of the adjacent maxima and the distance has to be taken on this tangential line, right? Because the screen here is this cylindrical screen and we have to uh, find the second position on this tangential line, right? So now let's say this is the second position. This blue point is the second position where uh, there is maxima, right? So this is the first maxima you can consider and this is the second maxima. This is the basically adjacent maxima. And the distance between these two is nothing but the fringe width that we have to determine, right? So this fringe width is B. Now, if we take the distance from these two wave fronts, right? I'll have to drop the perpendicular, right? So these uh, two green lines are basically the path difference from uh, this point here, right? So basically the path, effective path length can be said from these two wavelength is this much and this much, right? And if I want to determine the path difference from this point, because at this position we have already taken since here it is maxima. So path difference is going to be nothing but n lambda, right? And if this is the position of next maxima, the path difference is going to differ by only lambda. It is going to be either plus lambda difference between these two green lines are going to be either plus lambda or minus lambda, right? So the difference here, we can just write here the distance of this part, which uh, you can see in this right angle triangle, right? In this right angle triangle, this is angle theta, this is angle phi. So this angle will become theta plus phi and the hypotenuse is equal to B. So of course this height is going to be equal to B sine theta plus phi. And again in this right angle triangle, if you can follow me here, and in this right angle triangle, you can see here this angle is phi. So, and uh, this hypotenuse is equal to B. So, of course, this height is going to be B sine phi, right? So, we have just subtracted these two distances and this two, uh, the difference should be equal to plus or minus lambda. So, from here, we get the value of fringe width as lambda divided by sine of theta plus phi minus sine phi. In the, in the question in the pathfinder, uh, the answer is given using uh, the relation of sine A minus B, right? So this is the same answer we are getting.